Welcome back, my friendly friends, to more Trails into Reverie. Pharaoh Fiasco here. And last episode, damn it, what the hell happened? I don't know, but we better go and find out. Defense force reinforcements up ahead. The emergency staircase is sealed off, so the elevators are only option. Then there's some. Uh, then there's only one thing left to do. Yeah, let's take them down. But there's a civil unrest in Crossbell about combat links. Combat links are a feature likely to be of vital importance in the battles ahead. By linking with one another, characters can unbalance enemies and assist with powerful follow-up attacks such as Finishing Blow. Stronger link attacks will become available as characters continue to fight together. You can set who is linked to whom during battle by pressing L1 and the uh, up or down directional buttons. Combat links. Combat linking is a phenomenon which connects Arcus 2 users to each other. There's a... There's a new one. I forget what it is, but it's... Calvert's using it. But it's like a... It's like they're using a completely different Arcus set, uh, Arcus, a completely different combat uh, ornament setup. By sharing sensory input and mental impulses with one another, linked characters can fight together even more effectively. Link abilities. By gathering link EXP from battles, you can increase your link level. Leveling up will allow you to use various link abilities. Link level 1, Finishing Blow. Link level 3, Ellie, Cheer. Link attacks. Performing attacks in certain crafts gives characters a chance to unbalance enemies. Successfully unbalancing an enemy allows you to perform a follow-up attack while they are off balance. Link attack example is exit, uh, assist. Press X when link attack appears. Alright, so she's got zero craft. So let's hit them with absolute zero. Absolute zero. <laughs> Get a freeze? No. Here I go. It's all good. You're done for. Give him that. <laughs> nice. Got him. All the way up. It's my turn. You. Let's. Burning hearts. Let's go. Oh, and our CP is, uh, they remixed how it's... Okay, I see now. Crafts, Brave Smash. Can't get them both with that, so we, we're gonna have to go for the Zero Breaker. Zero Breaker! Oh, yeah. All right. the power. Uh, They're off guard. Basically, anything is gonna knock these guys out. This isn't... All right. Uh. Here I go. Take this. Ah! Cool. I was hoping for Get that. This way we should kill him. I can't. Thanks, Sally. I know I can always count on you. <laughs> of course you can. Anything for you. Uh, anything for him, huh? Back off, Ellie. Risha saw him first. All right, let's keep up the pace. The elevators are currently under the defense force's control, but Yona's side is hard at work unlocking one for us. They're desperate to hold down this fort, so it ain't gonna be easy. But we're gonna do what we came here for. Exactly. It's time to liberate our home for good. About damage types and unbalancing. Link attacks can only occur when the enemy is unbalanced, the success rate of which is decided by the weapon type used to deal damage. Lloyd deals strike damage effective against rock type foes and thrust damage effective against crustaceans. Mollusks are more easily unbalanced by slash damage and flying foes are more susceptible to pierce damage. Weapon Types The likelihood of unbalancing an enemy depends on the enemy's unbalance efficacy and the type of weapon used to attack it. Unbalance likely all the way down to unbalance unlikely. 
Critical attacks will always unbalance enemies regardless of their unbalanced efficacy. About critical damage and unbalancing. Attacks taken on a turn with a critical bonus have a 100% chance of unbalancing an enemy regardless of the damage type dealt. Taking advantage of this at the right time will be key to victory. Combat links can be assigned through the tactics section of the camp menu or in battle. Link settings. You can change combat link settings in the tactics page of the camp menu. Two, uh, two, or one, select a character with a triangle. Two, select the character you want them to form a link with using triangle. You can also set combat links during battle with L1. Yeah. Uh, hold on, I might... That's why it felt so weird. The camera, I need to invert it. Three, change what you can do while an active voice line is playing. Selecting free lets you talk to NPCs and investigate. Uh, standard simplified. There's no way to change it? I don't want to get used to this. Whatever. Now's our chance. Ugh, it feels so weird. The elevator is locked. I wonder where the elevator Jonas side unlocked is then. We'll have to try them all until we find it. Oh. Okay. Well, that didn't take too long, did it? 36 yeah. F. Hey. Tira Bomb, Reviving Bomb, EP Charge. Hopefully, hopefully once we, well, I guess it, I might play around with it a bit more later, but an Orb McCharging Station. Here's an Orb McCharging Station. Good. If things get dicey, we can always come back here. Orb McCharging Stations like this are found in particularly dangerous areas. Inspecting it by pressing X and choosing Rest will allow you to recover HP and EP. could definitely use that. Okay. I'm gonna need to take a, one more look at this because there's got to be a way to change the camera controls, dude. Whatever this is. Is it under button configurations? Yes, okay. Uh, or maybe, hold on. Did I celebrate too soon? Change combat mode, unit crow. What a spoiler! Oh my gosh. Well, I guess. Well, I guess it's not too crazy that we play, but they couldn't have. They couldn't have done something. Okay, that's kind of. Let me calm down. It'd be crazier if we didn't play as crow. I guess. Uh, horizontal camera. There we go. All right. It only took forever to find it. We only spoiled ourselves a little bit. Warhounds. Can't believe they've got them hiding in here. They're easy enough to handle one at a time, but as a group, they're also incredibly easy to handle. Look, even on hard mode, like, these aren't too crazy. We'll have to try. We can't risk them attacking the evacuees. And counter types. Combat begins when you walk into enemies on the field. Press X to attack enemies on the field. An attack from the rear will cause an enemy to pause briefly, but if you can land an attack from behind, the enemy will be stunned for a set time. 
Some enemies can be stunned by attacks from the front. Double advantage, advantage, standard enemy advantage. If your level is significantly higher than the enemies, you can defeat them with a field attack. Assault attack. Press R2 to expend the assault gauge to perform an assault attack. Combat begins the moment an assault attack hits an enemy, allowing for a triple advantage. Gauge is not expended if the attack misses. Oh, so there's no reason not to do it. Triple advantage. The assault gauge is raised by destroying breakable objects resting in an inn or hotel. Got you! This is our chance! About rush and burst attacks. Unbalancing an enemy allows you to follow by pressing triangle uh, by pressing the triangle button for a wide two-person rush attack, or by pressing the square button for an all-encompassing four-person burst attack. Both options contribute more damage against an enemy's guard, making it easier to force them into a break state and making them much more vulnerable to being unbalanced again. Forcing enemies into a break state through either a rush or burst attack, then gathering BP once more following it is but one of many viable strategies. Honestly, I rarely found myself using rush and burst. Just be certain to spend your BP wisely. A rush attack consumes only 2 BP, but a burst attack consumes 5 BP. Rush, a powerful link attack which consumes the bravery points you gain from repeated assist attacks. Press triangle when link attack appears. Perform action, BP plus one, BP times two, perform rush. A rush will inflict four times the normal break damage. Whoa, okay. Maybe I shouldn't have been using them so sparingly. Attack radius, large circle centered on the unbalanced enemy. Burst, an attack on all enemies performed by two linked pairs which consumes the bravery points you gain from repeated assist attacks. Press square when link attack appears. Perform assist, BP plus one, BP times five, perform burst. Break damage multiplies by 10 during burst, 900% up. Attack radius, entire battlefield. Cures all the party's abnormal statuses when activated. Have they always done that? Once we get those automatic CP regenerating items, turn. we'll be in there. Oh, I don't have enough for Zero Breaker. That sucks. No! I've got you! Alright. Uh she can get here all I of go. them with this. Take this! Ah! Nice! Now's the time! Going for it. And this Death Storm isn't enough, but the Crimson Gale the is. Shot. Crimson Gale! <laughs> Jeez, that damage okay. is no joke. Alright, so let's analyze this Beginning one. Analysis. analysis complete. Dovin Kaiser, level 98. A military beast that excels in stalking. It calls for reinforcements upon discovering its ideal prey. It's weak to wind and space. Intriguing. <laughs> Randy's on fire. Oh, golden. Let's get it. And she can beam Zonver to end it. Uh -huh. Enemy neutralized. On to the next. Yeah, for level 98 enemies, they're not giving us anything in the way of XP. Alright, now to keep an eye out for the emergency staircase. Kia's team said it's nearby. Huh, <laughs> looks like they haven't gotten that far yet. Then we should be able to catch up to them. Just watch for any threats along the way. Right. About break. Relentlessly attacking an enemy and fully depleting their break gauge forces them into a break state. They cannot move for a set period of time during this state, so continue beating them while they're down. 
Lloyd's Order Raging Hammer boosts break-related damage for all allies on the field. Use this and other methods to show the enemy who's boss. Break State a break state break occurs when the enemy's break gauge is reduced to zero. This will disable the enemy for a brief duration. Dealing damage to an enemy's HP will also damage its break gauge. When a break state occurs, the enemy drops its held items. Like, for after battle loot? Or can you equip held items? The enemy's turn is delayed, the enemy's status buffs are cancelled. Effect during a break state, attacks will always unbalance the enemy, the enemy's defense is reduced, the enemy cannot act for one turn. Certain crabs inflict more break damage than others. Exploiting an enemy's elemental weaknesses will also increase the amount of break damage it receives. Brave Orders Press up to issue a Brave Order. Brave Orders cost BP to use and provide special buffs to allies without consuming a turn. The number indicates how many turns your party is affected. You can issue a new Brave Order while counts of the old ones still remain. Only one order can be issued per turn, but you can issue the same order multiple times during battle. Brave Orders from Reserve Combatants will also be available. So far, so sane. Not anything we aren't already used to. Alright, buddy boy. You had your chance to live, and you squandered it. Uh... The only thing we need... Items. Press left to use items. The item and move commands have short cooldown periods, so use them to influence the turn order. Uh... Whoa! Battle scopes get a new... That's different! Alright. Yeah. Just because I didn't do this before. IDF Soldier Greatsword, level 98, a fierce wielder of the 100 form military combat. He occupied Crossbell against Imperial Orders. He's weak to fire and space. Leave it to me! And I think we got one more. Duh. IDF Soldier, Rifle, level 98, a skilled sniper under the former Governor General. He occupied Crossbell against Imperial Orders. He's weak to water and space. Okay, we need to heal a little bit. Ooh, very pretty camp menu. And everybody's got new portraits, of course. Uh, let's use... Lloyd's got the tear, but she has, they've got breath, and hers is the least expensive. Alright. I can catch my breath now. And those are way bigger than they were in the fourth game. Now's our chance. Though I guess that was technically the ninth game. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh! We've got another future victim in here. No, Randy. There ain't no rest for the wicked. Holy crap, that sucked. There we go. That was a real heal. Now's our chance. Anything else of interest or note in here? Yes, sir. Curia Balm S tablet. I'm sure this is probably like the room that we first had that conversation with, uh, Rain's dead dad in, but... Or it might have been this one. Yeah. Oh. Gilead, that's his name. Gilead Osborne. Yeah. Is this? This does actually have stuff written on it. It's crazy. Anyone else want a piece of us, or did I just go backwards? Oh, hold on. Okay, we can't go down to 38. Isn't there a arts menu, item All menu? Right. 
Raymond to go. Here I go. Right. There it is. We can book it if need be. Oh. And uh, I think that was like a really important... We overheard some kind of conversation in Our here. Our objective is on floor 39, right? Yep. That's the IDF space of operations. I'll plot us a route there. Thanks, Tia. Let's keep up the pace. I love that. Uh. Yeah. Is that now is our chance. a barricade? I don't think there's any getting through this. What? I thought we hacked our way through. The IDF was one step ahead here. We'll just have to proceed with more caution. No letting your guard down for a moment. I gotta say, as far as barriers go, that one very much yeah. does look like one you can get over quite easily. It's like, yeah. it's like a whole thing. But you know what? If Randy says that we can't get over that barrier, who are we to say no? Yeah. Mm. Okay, so there's action waiting for us over there before any of that. We gotta go ahead and show Here's him who's boss. Shot. Man, it would probably take forever trying to get to level 99 up here. Hey. That That's uh, assuming that Power Potion, Shield Potion, Mind Potion, which I, I've forgotten what they do. I could go and read the descriptions, but I'm not gonna. But the, um... I'm assuming that, like, you get regen health. Well, not regen health, but the enemies come back between floors. A little bit of help for everybody. I feel nice and recharged. So who wants some? There they are! It's the SSS! Huh. Looks like our patience paid off. We knew you'd shown up so uh, show up sooner or later. I'm impressed. They knew we'd come this way once we couldn't access the elevators. We should have expected as much from one of the Empire's most elite forces. They came armed to the teeth with warhounds. They mean business. Too bad this is nothing new for us. That's right. Everyone, prepare for combat. Watch out. This one's tough. Is it about S crafts? S crafts are special crafts which deal immense damage but consume all of the user's CP in the process. At least 100 CP is required to use an S-Craft, though its power is amplified when the user has 200 CP available. S-Crafts can be used instantly by pressing R1 and the directional button regardless of the user's placement in the turn order list. S-Crafts S-Crafts are powerful combat techniques that consume all of your CP. At least 100 CP is required to use an S-Craft and their strength is boosted if used at 200 CP. By pressing R1 and a directional button in battle, you can have a character perform an S-Craft even when it isn't their turn. Each character corresponds to one of the four directions based on the party order. Here I go! I'll get you back for that. Trust. Brave Orders. Press up to issue a Brave Order. Brave Orders cost BP to use and provide special buffs to allies without consuming a turn. They are very busted. But I'm assuming less so than they were in 3. Because, <laughs> what was it, Kurtz, I think, was completely insane. The number indicates how many turns your party is affected. You can issue a new Brave Order while counts of the old ones still remain. Only one order can be issued. We already read this. Alright. Toughness Shield. He's got two? Cross Strike. Accelerate. Right. She had a she had an AP advance. That's what it was in in their games, but now I guess that's strictly relegated to this. Cause AP advance is pretty good. Not gonna lie, it's what made Shara really busted. Uh, proud warrior damage plus thirty percent, strength up, absolute reflect for four turns, break damage plus one fifty. Break them! Raging Hammer! Going for it! And we've gotten so many more items. And I think we've gotten the we've got the skinny on all these guys, but not the Kazakh Dovan. There! Yeah. 
Kazakh Dovin, level 99. A large military beast powerful enough to crush through armor. Its howl, uh, its howl inspires its comrades. It's weak to water, wind, and nothing else. I won't let you! There we go. And that's almost all of them. It ends here! Rising Sun! I gotta say, even though I am 10,000% on board with the Jap well, with the English uh, English dub, the way he said that S crafting Japanese, it was hilarious. He was so bloodthirsty with it. I loved it. Uh, well, that's our turn anyways, so. That's the only problem with these arts. All right. He is not broken at all. But I think we got something for that. They're off guard. Oh, we don't have enough. My go. I was about to clobber everybody. About time I got this started. Eat steel, berserker! I'd just give up if I were you. Is it? See? Raring to go. This is like, I've never really been interested in playing these games on a higher difficulty, but <laughs> sometimes I get super freaking tempted. Yeah. Break. Everyone, come on. Hell yeah. Leave it sure. to me. Yeah. 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 This that Kazakh Dolvin is not trying to die for nothing. <laughs> Leave it to me. All right, so what are you weak to? Aerial dust. Uh, okay. She's got... Blue Ascension is stronger. What was it? Are there was like, um, for a while, actually, there was no way to tell how strong an art was. Though I think that was all the, uh... It was definitely in the Liberal games, and I think it was still a thing in the Crossbell games. But uh, the, power, the power indicators started up with the... Cold Steel games, but before you just had to kind of like trust Rush. that it was stronger. Uh, what does Brave Smash do? A chance to seal and faint. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Golden! I've got you. I'm not and done now yet. This is gonna <laughs> auto hit. Got him. Hell yeah! Way to go, Tio Tot! So let's keep it go, go, going! <laughs> I love them so much! How do you like that? Huh, <laughs> they didn't even lay a scratch on, uh, scratch on us! I don't know, it was looking kind of dicey for you specifically, Randy. That's all well and good, but don't forget, this isn't over until we put a stop to their main forces. You're right. Let's keep moving while the enemy is in disarray. Yeah. We've got a full... Yeah. But there's some nice junk in that trunk. <laughs> a metal that dispels weakening curses. Alright, let's, uh... Item quantities. Opt to display the quantity of each item currently equipped in the weapons armor quartz menu. Total, not equipped, applicable in uh, equip, quartz, item, costume. You won't see me with a uh, Lloyd only, so this means that even if we de equip this, we can't put it on Yuna. But. And the, uh, because. Whoa, these give him an incre uh, increased move? That's awesome. 
But like, when you're watching the cutscene compilations of games like these, and they've got, and Tails, Tails is the worst for this. Like, the characters look so goofy. Even across all my playthroughs, you'll see that I rarely, well, for Tokyo Mirage Sessions, I actually did. But that was only because their default costumes are really goofy. I really love the, uh, everybody's default looks in these games, though. It's like, Lloyd is wearing Lloyd's clothes rather than, like, a costume. If that makes any sense. You're, you're picking up what I'm putting down. You get what I mean. I feel nice and recharged now. Like, um, what's her face? Elevator's locked. The elevator is completely locked down. We'll have to take the emergency stairs. She did say that. But that's okay. We know exactly where they're at. Now that there's nothing impeding us. Oh. Interesting. Oh, well, check that out. So she must be talking about a different set of emergency stairs. Yes! Okay. She was talking about a different set of emergency stairs. 38F. Hmm. Nothing right there. No party chatter. Breakable stuff, though. Crap. About chain battles. Initiating an encounter with one or multiple enemies close by will result in you fighting one battle immediately after another up to three consecutive times. In addition to granting their own tactical bonus, chain battles accumulate experience points only at the end of the last encounter and result in netting more than you would otherwise receive. Seems like I was a little premature in declaring that uh, we wouldn't hit level 99. But something also very interesting is that... The... No. I'm trying to look at the... Map. What's the screenshot button? But something also intensely interesting is that Ellie... Her Holy Bullet has its... Full usage back. This is backwards, isn't it? Yes, it is. I think it was, uh... It was either in... I think it was Azure... Where, when you did it, and maybe the previous game as well? I'm not 100% uh, certain on whether it was the previous game, but in Azure yeah. for sure, her holy bullet no longer healed yeah. her. So it used to be completely broken. <laughs> Hilariously overpowered. And then they just brought it down to regular usability. Everyone, remain vigilant. But now, well... I guess it remains to be seen whether it's truly ridiculous again. Because knowing, like, with this being Trails in a Reverie and them bringing literally everybody from Crossbell back in the beginning, we're probably going to see quite a lot more of that. So, compared to what everybody else can do, we'll see how, we'll see how it stacks up. We got stuff to do. Level up. Nice. I did it! I've done it! And something else that I've only just you now noticed. We can't go above 5 BP. So, I'm assuming because this is the prologue and they're trying to start us off easy, or because being able to go above 5 BP will make things even easier than it already Now's is. Again, this is supposed to be hard mode, but I don't know. Maybe I'm past hard mode. Let's, let me hold on. Let me hold off on getting too big for my britches. Because all it would take is for something just the slightest bit overtuned, and then we'll be crying for our mamas. But until that point, nothing here is able to. Looks like that's where our big battle's gonna be at. So before. Wait, they're supposed to be in the room to the right. Let's get him. 
There's no Orbit Charging Station out here, though. Oh, wow! According to the data obtained, this should be their command center. I wanted to save, but it's okay. Hard mode is basically very easy right now, so it doesn't matter. Their leaders aren't going down without a fight. Make sure you're ready. Now let's go! Nobody. Where the hell are they? But that data came from a trusted source. Hi there. Looking good so far, guys. Fran, that's her name, because I certainly didn't remember it. Thanks. Anything going on? Well, we noticed something weird going on inside and wanted to give you a heads up. Weird how? There's a some alchemical craziness hidden inside Orcus Tower. Hopefully it's nothing to do with that. But that's how the previous game opened up, so I doubt it. The defense force started migrating to the rooftop not long after you busted in. You don't think they're trying to escape via airship, do you? As much as I'd rather they answer for their crimes, them leaving Crossbell would make this operation at least a partial success. It's not gonna be that easy. That doesn't seem to be the case, weirdly enough. I didn't spot any aircraft within their vicinity through my binoculars. Oh, something is up. That I know for sure. Through her binoculars? I guess she left to do some reconnaissance at some point. So just be careful, okay? Gotcha. Thanks. We'll keep that in mind. Sounds like everything on the ground will be under control before long. So do what you gotta do. May Adios be with you all. Hmm. Hito being nervous has got me nervous. Likewise. She may not be able to see causality the way she could during the twilight, but we can't ignore her instincts. Yeah, her... It was crazy. Don't worry about it, though. Yeah, well... Victory's still in sight as long as they're in the tower. So, ah. make our way for the rooftop. We'll be smart about it. I'll probably cut that out. My cat just bit me. Ugh. All right, back to what we were doing. First things first, I'm really like, okay, let's do some predictions. Who could possibly, because I doubt they'll, especially for the opening, for the opening to the end, I guess. I doubt it's going to just be some nameless, faceless nobodies. Let's... What's his face? Uh, Blondie and Redhead. Uh, Randy's cousin and Rufus's brother. Let's go ahead and throw their hats into the ring to start with. Drop a new save right here. We made it up to the roof. If what Kia's side said is true, then... This is the end of the line. Stay on high alert. We're going in. Yeah, time to have some fun. Many, many climactic things in Crossbell's recent history has happened on this rooftop. And we're going ahead and adding yet another thing to those storied annals. Who is it? No, just goons. There they are. The, the SSS? We should have known. I'm aware of who you are and that you used to serve the former Governor General, so I'll skip the prelude. You're under arrest on suspicion of leading an over three month occupation of the city, effectively detaining its citizens. Your arrest comes at the behest of the provisional government of Erebonia. Who we're all buddy buddy with now. 
I don't know. My blood is still pretty blue from my time playing the Crossbell games previously. My man, Dieter, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, he was a visionary, but you know, we won't get into that right this moment. The time for that's gonna be later. Please, we ask that you do not resist. Never, you lowly police dog. You tell him. We'll never be stopped by the likes of you. Whatever it takes, we will reignite the war. Wait, hold on. I forgot that. I forgot that's what they're after. They don't like. They like. I'm not okay. I'm not on board with that. Dieter wouldn't have wanted this. Well, what actually, do we do? the Republic will be the first to fall to our feet, and then the whole continent will follow. Okay. <laughs> Dieter did kind of want a little bit of that, but these dudes are crazy. That's right. It's the only way His Excellency's legacy can live on and Erebonia's pride be restored. Wait, these aren't cross bellens? I guess that is Erebonia's uniform. I was wondering about that at the beginning of the previous episode. Why are you so desperate for more war? In the previous game, it was like, it was something, something... The evil giant robot was causing everybody to be bad, and the Erebonians were really just nice people all along. It was crazy, but it doesn't feel like that's what this—that's what's going on here with this. They're behaving like the twilight is ongoing, but it's long been over. Right, that was it. Yeah, the source of it is gone. And the curse that drove people toward war should have gone with it. it. Must be that some of those it drove to the brink feel like there's no turning back. But you must have realized by now, right? Your plan can't possibly succeed. What, what makes you say that? Because we're standing right here, buddy. What do you think happens to people who try to go crazy in Crossbell? They answer to the four of us. What doesn't? Anyone would say that. After occupying Crossbell for a quarter of a year, doggedly trying to rile the population into a new war, who's risen in support of your efforts? No one. Damn, man, even Dieter had the love of the people. <sighs> I'm sure with a little more time, the way most see it, you're just being sore losers who refuse to get with the program. The people's hearts won't be moved by you strutting around like you own the place. And neither will Imperial policy. If we don't end this now, it'll only be a matter of time before Calvert grows tired of you acting out and ends this with force. And with no one here supporting your cause, how well do you think you'll do against them? The war is over. And I'm sure deep down, you've known that all along. But I highly doubt that's going to stop them from fighting us. So why are you still... Uh, do you expect us to throw away our pride and give up? Yes? The Empire staked everything on that war. Our pride, our lives, our future. And then after less than a day... The Chancellor is killed, the Governor General is arrested, and the entire thing is called off? And to add insult to injury, we were forced to pay reparations to the Republic? How could we accept that? Okay, I can understand, like, it's more understandable for them being sore losers about that, because they were under Calvert's heel before. They were half under Calvert's heel and half under Erebonia's heel, and now they're being forced to pay money to Calvert. We did everything our country asked of us. However cruel, however immoral, and for what? Not for pride, for humiliation beyond measure. <laughs> they let the curse take root, and now it's led them too far astray. They're trapped between a reality they can't accept and a failed dream they can't return to. Hmm, sucks to be them. <sighs> I can't pretend not to understand how you feel. Everyone in Crossbell can understand. 
Greater powers have squabbled over us like children do with toys. Reduce our lives to a series of hardships, taken what we treasure, trampled on our pride. But will your goals here restore your pride? I'm telling you, it won't. Betraying the good people of Zemuria through these horrific acts of terrorism will never bring you salvation. If by some miracle you succeed, will you honestly truly ever be able to hold your heads high knowing what it took? Is that all the pride you're fighting for amounts to? Of course not! <laughs> I refuse to be lectured on pride by a cross felon. Now hold on. He's not lecturing you. He's telling you where you'll go because it's where we've been. We know what it's like to face an impossible choice. We could have saved Crossbell from ever having to endure another day of hardship. All it would have taken was a single, very personal price. But we turned down that once-in-a-lifetime chance. It's what he said. If by some miracle we succeeded, could we have held our heads high? Could our loved ones on our behalf? Even if the end result was what we were hoping for, the cost to achieve it would have brought us nothing but shame. <sighs> we signed up for a couple of rough years instead, and we couldn't be prouder for it. We didn't want just us to hold our heads up high. We wanted our little daughter to hold hers up high too. So if we can make that choice, so can all of you. My time in the Empire showed me something. That you're every bit as capable as we are of facing hardship if it means a better tomorrow. I can't believe it. Look, There's no way. If all we've said now isn't enough to sway you, we can always do this the hard way. We're not just doing this for us. We want everyone who was hurt by the war to move on. And that includes all of you. You really want to help us? <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> Just how naive can you children be? It's too late for us to turn back! So they've got some heavy duty firepower. How long has that been here? It's as big as Vulcan's was. Soldat? Isn't this the Leviathan we were told about? No, it's similar, but I think it's a different model. <laughs> Behold! Our secret weapon! An experimental unit developed alongside the Leviathan, but scrapped before seeing the light of day. A fitting ally for soldiers spurned by history like us, wouldn't you say? This is our second time battling a huge robot. Scrapped prototype Asmodyne. Where did they even get something like that? I don't know. But if they're not bluffing, its strength might be on par with the Leviathans. Go! Crush them and their homeland, Asmodyne! This end can be the spark that ignites the flames of war once more! We won't let you lay a finger on our home! Damn right. We'll take this down and then it's your turn! Think Tin Man over here will beat us? Think again! We've endured far worse these past two years to let something this small ever stop us! Yeah, our second time battling a huge uh, robot on this rooftop. Hi. All right, yeah. nothing we can't handle. Uh, let's have him open up with... Well, first... Yeah. How proud warrior! Yeah! And then some Crimson Gale action. Try this on for size. Crimson Gale! Right. That did a lot, actually. I think we'll have Ellie. Right. Hmm, seal and faint. Defense and arts defense down. Zero breaker. 
It's my turn. Yeah, I'm not super duper worried. Whoa, this has no range. I forgot about that. Arcus, activate. Raring to go. And she'll it's hit him with one analysis. of these. Data received. Asmodyne, level 100. A Zalber Soldot prototype scrapped before seeing combat cuts down its enemies with crushing firepower. It's weak to wind and space. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, I won't let you. Raring to go. Zero craft. That means. It ends here. Is Zero Craft? I don't think Zero Craft is new. But that icon does not look very familiar. Rising Sun! Raring to go. And with that. Break them! Raging Hammer! Okay. Let's try this again. It ends here. Now, of course, that means he's not going to move for a very long time. Well, he's speed up, so. Rising sun! I might be worried more so than I should be. It's my go. It is. And her yeah. tiny airstrike. Serpent swing. <laughs> Ooh, baby! Eye for an eye! I'm in trouble! Nah, you're fine. We can get an aerial dust in and then have uh, her okay. do her thing. Arcus activate! Yeah, we're getting uh. plenty of turns in. Going for it! He's already at 200. We can get a death storm. Yeah, the only way we can do a death storm is if he ends up on the other side of it. You're done for. Eat this. Got him. Got him. Following up. And then right back into it. With one of these. We're gonna keep Ellie's aura rain in our back pocket for right now. Eat steel. I'd just give up if I were you. Now this should put us at there's the break. Raring to go. Okay. And I'm not gotcha. sure if I'm in trouble. Hmm. I think you'll be okay. E no. I think we're gonna have to hold off. EP cost minus 90%. Kinda of busted, yeah. but they're off guard. There. This is how you win this game. Hey. Oh. Nice. Open. I've got you. Raring to go. Zero order, which means We're not really doing all that much. It's my turn. Let's have you burning hard. Right. Push through. Cross strike. Yeah, this is some kind of. Let's this go. is crazy. Yeah. They're open. I've got you. I can't lose here. Fire. They're I feel like hard. this is like a permanent. Yeah. Hold on. 
Because if this is too Here good, I, go. I might <laughs> never do this again. Got him. Up. Okay, no, no, no. It's perfectly okay. fine to, bu uh, to abuse this. Hmm. Let's aura rain. Now, Wait, what? what? Holy right of Adios. Shine upon us from the heavens. Or a rain. It's got a tiny AoE. Thanks. Oh, that ain't good. It's my go. That ain't good at all. Keep I might need strong. This. Tough this shield. It's my go. Uh. What's hers? Does hers deal Ether Strike? Yeah. Hope you're ready. Might as well, right? Yeah. Horrible driver set at maximum output. Ether. Whoa, 18,800. Last stand. Oh, he's about to hurt. Enhanced. Certain enemies can become more powerful by entering an enhanced state. Enhanced. While an enemy is enhanced, they may use more powerful moves, so be careful. Effects of enhanced state. Increased attack, defense, status, recovery. Enhanced enemies leave themselves open, making them easier to break. Wasn't it the opposite in 4? Try to break the enemy and regain the advantage in battle. It's my turn. All right. A uh, fierce blast of energy. Yeah. Oh, they're open. I've got you. Yeah. Uh. Huh. We basically need to rebuild. Brutal trample. Ooh, right. Killed the crap out of Tio. Restores 12k. Yeah, let's. There. Thank you. And Randy might not live for his next turn, so. Our time I got this started. That's a 10% HP heal. Uh-oh. Uh, we're gonna have to hope and pray that it hits Lloyd. I just give no, I don't think there's a way for me out of that. That's on me, though, for not paying attention. No, golden. Eye for an eye. Wait, it auto redid their link? Hmm. Because I remember maybe that was just in three, but if a character died, you'd need at least one turn to come up before you could redo their link. It is your turn. You will. Can she heal him? It's too far away. Uh. Oh, but she's got her craft. She cannot do that. Okay. Fire! Raring to go. Hmm. Randy Bobandy being over there is probably a bad idea. Oh, and me Get not using here. an order. One of his orders right here probably would have been great to get that break Rising specifically. Sun! Yeah. It ends here. We just need him to attack us and not Randy. Yeah, I think Zero Craft is new. I'm fairly Rising certain. Sun! Maybe. <laughs> Ooh. Don't give in. Thanks. He's fine, but. There. 
these puny airstrikes. Don't give in. Thanks. Bad news. Yeah. I did it too soon. Uh oh. Well, hey. I thought we were. I thought it was gonna collapse, and then well, this is about to undo all the damage we're about to hit it, it with. Ends here. That sucks. Rising but at least Randy star. hasn't gotten hit. Ten thousand four four five. Twenty two thousand. Don't give in. Thanks. Leave it to me. Uh, she's going to celestial balm Teo. Thank you. I'm and I think Randy yet. should be able to reach Lloyd. No. Mm -mm -mm. Let's have him do a toughness shield. Toughness shield. What am I doing? HP minus thirty percent. CP plus eighty. That will probably kill us. Oh, man. I'm sorry, everyone. Eye for an eye. Leave it to me. He just needs enough to, like, get him back over here. And we can just use this. We can just use this to and be good. Thanks. Leave it to me. Okay. Uh, you will aerial dust, which is 198. I didn't realize how expensive that was. Asmodine is only going to hurt Randy with this, so I'm fine with that. Raring to go. Nobody. Yeah. There wasn't anybody who could use an S-Craft, which would have been nice. And once she's gotten... We're going to have to redo Toughness. No, we can do Eon Shield. Or Aeon Shield, rather. It's my turn. And we're closing in on that victory. And we'd have, right. we'd have won already if I hadn't effed it up. Arcus activate. Yeah. Let's have you. Bring him back over with everybody else. You're done for. Eat this. Nice. They're off guard. Following up. And that completely busted Absolute Reflect, which will probably kill it, actually. Yeah. No, but this will. Jeez, still not? Okay. Oh. There it is. Dude was hanging on for dear life. Sorry, but we got stuff to do. Nice. I did there it. It is. Lloyd's Brave Smash 2 can now be used. Charges forth with an attack that enshrouds oneself with fighting spirit. And the seal and fame percentage has gone up. I've done it! <laughs> Leveled up. You ain't seen nothing yet. Well. Or of rain! I love that. Berserker! Uh, 
Rising Sun! Get him! That's this it. Can't be happening. Our victory was all but assured. Damn it all! We did it, right? <laughs> that was rough. But it's down now, so. Yeah. That's what happens when you mess with the SSS. The time is 5.14 p.m. In accordance with the powers vested in me by the Provisional Government of Erebonia to act on their behalf, I hereby proclaim all of you under arrest. Please, do not resist. <laughs> Upon hearing their leaders have been arrested by the Special Support Section, the Defense Force lost their will to continue fighting. As a whole, they were quick to be taken into custody by the police and the Crossbell Guardian Force. We did it. We made the right call. Because Crossbell, our home, is finally free. And it took all of us. This is one to be proud of. Nice work, leader. Being surveilled by an unknown entity? I was expecting an opening theme. This looks more like an ending credit sequence. Uh, okay. Something crazy is going on. Wazi Hemisphere. What was the Will's last name? Rishia Mal. Yeah, what is this? And Kia's last name, Bannings. I'd be salty if it were me. That she didn't get my last name, but after three and a half months. The IDF's occupation of Crossbell following the war came to an end with minimal bloodshed. The perpetrators were briefly held in Crossbell before being transferred to Orox Ford in the Kreutzen province. There, they would join their old leader, former Governor General Rufus Alborea himself. Yes. Wait, what's with this? What's with this music? Not long after Crossbell was liberated, the SSS and company were invited to Prince Oliver's wedding ceremony. They reunited with their friends from Erebonia and were praised by the prince for their efforts in freeing Crossbell. But on the world stage, the crisis in Crossbell only served to draw the region's problematic political standing into focus once more. 
So it was that uh, so it was that with the power vested in the holy city of Artaria together with the support of liberal Remiferia and even Erebonia and Calver that it came time to turn a new page in Crossbell's history. The pride the region was stripped of following its failed bid for independence three years ago would be restored. And Crossbell would once again be recognized as a fully independent state. This concludes all available records on the events in Crossbell following the war. All of the proceeding were within the margin of error of predictions made in the first phase. Right, the Phantasmal Blaze plan advancing to the second phase will officially set the core of this project into motion. <laughs> huh. Are you sure you wish to activate Project Babel? Well, hey. The Legion of Heroes trails into Reverie. Prologue Operation Liberate Crossbell End. Trophy earned. Operation Liberate Crossbell. So, just like before, we're going to call it apart here, but definitely join me next time for more Trails into Reverie. Bye for now, guys. A sea of clothes. And at its heart, the world tree, piercing the heavens. This, this is the world we call home. All rest. <laughs>